In today's video, I'm going to show you a super simple way of bringing in remote guests for your live streams using an ATEM Mini and Restream Studio. You've heard me talk about Restream before on my channel. It's one of the services that I recommend for multi-streaming, so streaming to multiple locations at once. But now, Restream have come out with something called Restream Studio. It's a cloud-based production studio that makes creating a show and bringing remote guests into that show really easy, both for the broadcaster and the guest. It's got a bunch of layouts and features to give you a professional looking broadcast without a lot of the hassle. I've teamed up with the guys at Restream to show you how it works in this video, and then tomorrow I'm releasing another video, which is kind of like a cool trick of how you can broadcast your Zoom meetings and conferences to multiple locations. So watch out for that one dropping tomorrow. Anyway, back to Restream Studio. The first thing for me to say here is you don't actually need an A10 Mini for Restream Studio to work. You can use any capture card or webcam, but when you pair the A10 Mini with Restream Studio, you can do some really powerful stuff. Let me show you how it works. First of all, hook up your ATEM Mini to your computer via the USB-C webcam out on the device. All three ATEM Mini models have this, so you can use the ATEM Mini, the Pro, or the ISO. Then head over to the link that I put in my description below to grab yourself a Restream account if you don't already have one. That'll then take you over to my kit page where you can see all of the kit that I use to live stream, including Restream. And if you use the link on that kit page for Restream, then you will get $10 off if you decide to sign up for a paid plan. And once you have set that up, navigate over to Restream Studio. So let me explain what you've got here. The large window is your live output, and you've got all of your inputs and other sources along the right hand side. Right now it's just me, so the first thing I'm going to do is set up all my settings and then add a guest. So firstly, click the settings cog and change your audio and video input as you need. You can also set the camera resolution here, and a quick tip, if you do have a pro account, go down, click the advanced settings, and then change the quality settings first to 1080p if you want to broadcast in 1080p, and then you can go back and change your camera resolution to 1080p as well. Now to bring in remote guests, click the invite guest button and copy the link that it generates and send it to your guests. If you have a Restream free account, you can have up to six guests, and if you're on a pro account, you can actually have up to 10 guests on at once. Once your guest receives the link, it's super simple for them. They just open it in a browser, Chrome works best, they accept the permissions for the microphone and the webcam and enter their name and join. Once they're in, they'll be placed in a virtual green room until you're ready to bring them on air. They can see the live show and all the social comments and questions that are coming in. A top tip, for best quality, ask your guests to click their settings cog and choose high definition for their input too. For you as the broadcaster, as your guests join, you can see them entering the backstage area and you can easily toggle them into the live show. There's a number of different framing options that you can use too. So you can have side by side that covers the full screen or each guest in their own box against a background. You can also go for spotlight mode, which is kind of similar to a video call that we're used to seeing. Of course, you can bring each guest full screen as you need to as well. And you can smoothly change between all these layouts. On the right hand side, you have a bunch of controls and features. The first I want to show you is the captions tab. In here, you can create your own lower thirds and easily animate them on and off during your show. It's perfect for things like call to actions or name straps. You can easily customize the text on the fly and display them during your show at the touch of a button. Onto the graphics tab now, this is where you can customize the look and feel of your broadcast. And a quick heads up, a lot of these customizations are for the pro users only. You can add a logo to your stream, custom overlays and borders. You can even customize the background to fully brand your show how you want it to look. If you scroll down to the brand settings, you can also tweak the highlight color for the caption graphics I just showed. The other thing I just wanted to show you is the ability to upload and play pre-recorded videos during your broadcast. This works really well for things like countdown timers or if you just need to play a short video during your live stream. It's super easy and all you do is upload the file and then click it to bring it on air. The setup tab is where you'll input all of your streaming information and add which destinations you want your broadcast to go to. Because Studio is built on Restream's platform, it means that you can easily take your new show and stream it to multiple destinations like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, LinkedIn, 
The list goes on. And finally, the chat tab. One of my favorites. It's a really cool feature of Restream in general, but also of Restream Studio. This is where you'll find all the real-time comments and chat messages appearing from all the platforms you're broadcasting on. Restream automatically pulls the comments from every platform that you're broadcasting on and collates them all there simply in one screen for you to view. And as an added bonus, if you want to discuss someone's comment, you can click on it to display it on your stream as a lower third graphic. It's such a powerful feature for making your broadcast interactive and encouraging your audience to engage with your content. The final feature that I want to mention, which I think a lot of people will find useful, is that there is a screen sharing function within Restream Studio as well. This allows you to share your screen into the broadcast, but also any of your guests to share their screen into the broadcast as well. It makes it a really powerful tool for things like virtual podcasts or virtual conferences where someone wants to talk through a slideshow on the broadcast and so have their slides maybe large on the screen and also them in the corner or maybe a discussion panel with four or five people, but also having some visuals on screen as well. The possibilities are kind of endless with this. The very last thing for me to show you is how to actually go live. And it's super simple. You just hit that big orange button in the top corner that says go live. And when you do that, Restream will automatically start broadcasting to all of your chosen platforms that you set up on the service. So where does the A10 Mini fit into all this? Well, to put it simply, because your computer sees the A10 Mini as a webcam device, Restream Studio can use it as an input. So you can have a high quality 1080p multicam broadcast and easily bring in guests using Restream Studio. And of course, you've got four inputs on your A10 Mini. So you could plug in two or three cameras and feed those into Restream. Maybe even plug in laptops and iPads into your A10 Mini as well. Everything that you could have done on your A10 Mini before, you can still do, but now you can send that to Restream and have an easy way of including remote guests with your production. So I think you guys will agree when you combine those two things together, you can create some really powerful content, especially at a time where many of us are still locked in our homes. At least now you can bring in remote guests and create shows together. So why might you look to use this setup then? Number one, it's a really simple way of bringing people into your show. There are other ways of doing it, but a lot of them require like dedicated hardware and some specific software. This is all cloud-based and it's simple for you, the broadcaster, but importantly as well, it's simple for the guests. They just get a URL, a simple link that they open in their browser and they can join their show. They don't need any hardware. They don't really even need much technical knowledge. Most people can open a link and enable their webcam. Secondly, for you, the broadcaster, because it's built on Restream's platform, all the tools you need to distribute your show to multiple locations at once are already there. So you can stream live on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch. I've said them all before. There's loads of places that you can send your live show to. And finally, thirdly, in conjunction with that, there's that live chat feature, which I absolutely love. So Restream will automatically pull down all of the comments from those locations that you're streaming to and display them all there for you. And then you can bring them on stream. And I don't really know any other service or many services that are doing all of that right now. So it's worth trying. And if you do want to give it a go, I'll just remind you guys, there's a link in my description of where you can sign up for Restream and give this a go. There's a free account. And then if you like it, you can upgrade to a pro and unlock some more of those features for customization as well. So that's today's video. Tomorrow, as I say, I'm dropping a video about how you can use Restream to broadcast your Zoom meetings and conferences to multiple locations. And then after that, I'm gonna drop a specific video about that chat feature I've just spoken about, showing you how to use it and how it works. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up because that really helps. And if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll try and get through as many of those as possible. If you are new here and you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna be uploading a few more over the next week. And finally, I've had a number of you reach out asking if I do one-to-one -one sessions to help you with your setups. Yes, I do. The email to contact me on is on screen now. So just shoot me an email asking for a one-to-one -one session and we'll sort that out. Once you've done all that, I'll see you on the next one.